guys. Here we go. Part 11. Continue right where we left off with part 10. I think we're going to snag up these guys real quick. Uh, but I believe we already got him. So, this is going to be a flea. Not a flea, but a run. No point in sitting here playing around with this guy. Since we already got him. And we also got um, three great balls. So, make sure you guys are... If you guys just found this uh, series or whatever, make sure you go check out the other episodes, man, because we are grinding this game crazy. Um, you know, I'm not rushing it. I'm actually taking my time because I genuinely am enjoying the shit out of this game right now. Um, so, yeah, like, kind of crazy. We are making really good progress. I'm filling out my Pokédex. I've been doing some off-camera things, like I said, just due to the fact is... That one zone is crazy of the stuff you can get. Like, you can get XP, you can get rare candies. What is it? It's crazy. Exactly. Crazy thick. But, uh... I mean, look at this. We already got our third stage evolution on episode... We're on episode 11, but we got this in episode 10. So if you want to see that, go check it out. Um... You know, we're just racking up our Pokédex as well. Because I am kind of a completionist when it comes to Pokémon games. I take these very seriously. Very serious. A Woobat? This thing is ugly. What is it? Um, for, from what I've seen, I don't know. Because I, I thought they didn't have, like, Gen 1 Pokémon. But they do. I caught a Pikachu. Really? Oh, you mean like exclusive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have that in here. Sorry, I didn't know what you. I didn't know if you meant like. Um, yeah, for each game there is an exclusive. Like in each game, you can only get that specific legendary. And then there's like a list of Pokemon that are exclusive to each sword and each shield. That's why if you really were like a crazy, crazy fan, your best you'd buy them both. But I mean, I'm not gonna do all that. Because you can also trade. Um, so that's a pretty good way to incorporate that. And I think there's actually online trading. So, like, if somebody wants something. You know. So maybe there's, like, a legendary in the other game. But they want a legendary from this game. Well, in reality, you could potentially make that trade. Um, Uh, yeah, specific, like, trade ones. I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm definitely sure there is. I don't know exact, exactly which ones they are, but... Like, if there's Abra in this game, you can only evolve him by trading. Gengar, you can only get him by trading. So there's definitely certain ones you can only get from trading. Um, Electabuzz's third form, you can only get from trading. But, uh... We want to make sure we don't miss anything in this game either. It is a nice cave. Oh, this this girl's a damn snob, bro. She's like, I'm I was picked by the chairman himself. Coming this way, I advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Alright, I mean I'm gonna approach you anyway. We gotta back that shit up. Top yo crap. You, you're the gym challenge you're endorsed by the champion, aren't you? Yes ma'am. What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? Well, I mean yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me you. What are you, five years old? I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Alright, we're just gonna one-shot every one of her Pokemon for talking stupid. So... Yeah. Pretty much we're just gonna make it. We're just gonna add salt to a battle wound right now. For her talking that dumb. I, I hate smack talkers, especially to this extreme, calling us pathetic and stuff, man. Come on, you're a bully. I don't like bullies. I'm just giving you a Pokemon a little chance to shine, that's all. See, there it is, making up excuses for why I one shot her. I'm just giving your Pokemon a chance. All right, well, what happens if I one shot the next one? I don't have any of these guys, so I don't know where she was catching these at, but. Don't matter, drum beating. You're dead. 
Now, nah, what's your excuse? Bring on the next one. Bring on the next one. No, ma'am, we are not gonna switch out. Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever, let's just get this over with. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that thing is ugly. Just like you, lady. Because your personality is ugly. So if your personality is ugly, you are ugly. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Ooh, she got dead. She got dodo. Almost two grand. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm surely easily defeat you if when we face each other in an official match. Now that we established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I already gathered every wishing star in this area. All right, like nobody cares. You know, she's like that, um, red person back in the old days. I don't even think Gary was this ignorant. Well, no, he was a little bit in Pokemon Red and stuff. He'd be like, smell you later, chump. I'd be like, chump? Who you calling chump? I just beat you. Hey, yeah, uh, me and my big sister. Oh, okay, yep. So you're at one end of the cave, and she's at the other end. You're out on Route 4 and near Turf Field. That's our location, guys. So we're finally making some really good progress in this game right now. Um, we're just going to keep cruising. I mean, we're going to explore a little bit because that's just part of Pokemon. But this episode is just going to be probably be like 20 minutes flat because... Um, Breeder Jane. Meow. What the heck? Bro. What? This meow is funny looking. What the heck it oh? What the heck they do to meow? Wow, yo. He's actually scary looking now, man. Jeez Louise. If I seen that thing in real life, I wouldn't want to catch it. That thing would give me freaking nightmares. Heck no. Butterfree. I was trying to catch this dang thing because it flies up in the air and I was whistling at it and stuff. Oh wow, we didn't one shot it. That's alright, we would have tag anyway. But um Sorry, potion ain't gonna be none for it, I'm about to just good job just stomp on you with this knockoff. Smack Smack you down. Anyway, I was trying to get the butter free. Because it was flying up in the air, and I was trying to call it down, but for some reason, it just it just fly away, like, just add insult to injury. Because it would, like, fly down a little bit low, and then it just fly off, and I was like, wow, way to tease me. Way to tease brother. Now, let's try jump beating, since I haven't ran into this guy before, so I don't know his weaknesses. But, I mean, not see that. I thought he was, wasn't he? 1400. Now we're starting to rack in the cheddar, bro. And you need to because clothes are heck of expensive in this game. There's a guy running around as Pikachu. So, let's go, Pikachu. Kid Shane. Of course. Pikachu. Yes, ma'am. I know. What's the likelihood of him having a Pikachu wearing a Pikachu costume? Imagine he came out with like a completely opposite of an electric type. That would have been. That's how you get somebody. Wear a Pikachu outfit and then you got a Charizard. <laughs> kid Shane. 720 bucks? That's it, kid? Oh. Oh, there's our squirrel. Look at that, guys. Didn't expect that this episode. Wow. That is a thick boy. That is a freaking thick boy, yo. Look at the size of this thing, bro. He must have eaten way too many nuts. Jeez Louise, this guy got going on a diet. 
Coven. Let's see what Coven is. Ooh. Ta-da! Alrighty then. I wasn't expecting that. Can't even lie right now. Alright, this thing's are really... Look at this. That thing is aggressive, bro. Calm down. I'm gonna check the Pokedex, though, since we just evolved him. Um, doesn't evolve again, unfortunately. He's gotta get up, and... That's it for Squirrel Guy. I think I'm gonna put in Zigzagoon on the team. Let's put on a Zigzagoon. Oh, you know what? I, I could have sworn there was a way you could swap out your... You know, it says swap Pokemon, but that's just for the order. Restore. What does restore mean? Um, oh, I'll probably give him an item. Yeah, I don't remember. Pokemon Cat, maybe this is it. Um, nah, nah, that's not it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> snap! Yeah, get out of there. Uh, lead card, bag, Pokedex, town map. Alright, I mean, we'll just have to hold them. But this thing, bro, like, get out of here, man. I've gotten him way too many times. What is that? Punkaboo. You know what that is? Yeah, Team Rocket has one. Team Rocket? <gasps> no! Well, I gotta add it to the Pogi Dex. Ooh, that thing just snapped right out. That was messed up. All right, let's try Pokeball one more time. Because if I hit it, I'm gonna one-shot it. So let's just try Pokeball one more time. Okay, that wasn't a fluke then. Thought maybe that was a fluke there when she just snapped right out of it. But I think this is where we're gonna have to start putting away the Pokeballs and start using these Great Balls, guys. Let's get it. First Great Ball of the Pokemon series. First throw. Are we about to get the first catch? Let's go. First throw with the great ball and first catch. Can't get can't get any better than that. Nice and easy. Add it to the Pokédex. Would you like to get Peekaboo a name? A Punkaboo? Punkaboo. I said Peekaboo. Punkaboo a name. All right, get out of here, bro. But this thing is like nest boy. Look at this, bro. I'm I'm following charges right now. <gasps> There's the meow, dude. This Meowth is ugly, bro. Like, I don't even know what they did. This needs, this guy needs to shave or something, man. Ooh. You've seen better days, bro. Can you catch shinies? I don't know. That's a good question. Really? Really? That's Meowth. That is a Meowth, my good friend. He looks spicy, doesn't he? Spooky. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I would not want him on my... I'd want him not as my buddy. Follow me around. I'd be pretty scared. Okay, so... This guy is just going ham right now, bro. Like, get out of here. Energy thing in this kind of okay. I didn't think he was gonna fight us over the over this gate or brick wall gate over this stone wall at that, but he wants and of course he has electric strike. But one thing like that is yeah, bro, because he's just everywhere and he just like just spams the crap out of you, dude. Yeah, definitely let us know in the comments if we can get shinies. Because that would be pretty clutch. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's rare. But, I mean, I don't know. I would I would assume. Yeah, that, I think you'd be hacking with that. You probably know some hacks. Like up, down, over, over, or some stuff like that. And then he... Yep. Or you'll be like, okay, you gotta move in the grass. Left, right, left, right, up, down. Yep. Imagine that. 
You definitely get some people. They're gonna be like, what? I keep doing it, but I'm not getting a shiny. Let's just make sure we get all this grass explored, though, real quick, though. Ah, get out of here, Meowth. No, no, no. Nah, I don't want that thing chasing me. Alright, I think we might have gathered everything in this little patch right here and fought everybody. Let's just keep moving on to the next patch of grass. Like, how, how are you trying to even chase me? That's an Eevee costume. What do you think he's gonna have? A diglet. <laughs> wow. Oh, imagine he did. Oh, it's not even an Eevee, though. I don't, don't know what the heck that is, actually. I'm surprised he hit. I mean, I just seen a diglet on the screen. So, that would I wouldn't have been far-fetched. But I'm surprised you were in an Eevee costume and didn't have an Eevee. So, I guess they did implement that. Throw you off a little bit right there. It's already over? Yes, ma'am. Unfortunately, it's just that easy to lose to me. Now, this might be... Encounter a while. This might be too strong of a Diglett to even catch. Or it could just be a regular one. Yeah, it's actually just a regular one. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna try the nest balls. I mean, it says the lower level they are, but... I don't know if that means like the lower level they are for me or just themselves, but I mean we caught them at regardless, so that's clutch. That is clutch. Because I needed him added to my Pokédex because I already seen him, but he did not cap him yet. So nice addition right there real quick. Let's check this grass. I definitely see a Pokéball in there. There's another little Diglett. My thing is I just- Ah! Yeah, there is. At least they don't freaking run after you. What? Where? In the grass? Right, let's go check. Ah! Where? Oh. Nice call. I did not see that. I was too busy trying to freaking avoid all that damn... Because I'm pretty sure what's in the grass. If I had to take a guess. Ooh. I see that one. Really? Look, get out of here, dude. Meow. There's a trainer nearby. I don't see one. Oh. I was gonna say. Where the heck is he? He's hiding. He's hiding off screen. Joltic? That is it. That thing is pretty cute. I can't lie. We're gonna smack it. Sorry, brother. Sorry to do you dirty like that. I don't know if you only have one Pokemon. Nope, oh, yeah, two. Spicy here, buddy. Grubbin. So we meet again, Nemesis. Let's try Upgore. Let's hopefully he doesn't avoid it. Oh, okay. Not bad. As long as it hits. Cause like, I'm not a big fan of moves where they miss more than they hit. Cause that, that's why I got rid of Slam. Because every time I used it, they would avoid it. And I would just begin... S and it didn't happen like once or twice, bro. It seemed to happen... At least, yeah, every time I used it. So it was just like I had to use it twice. So at that point, it's just like... I'd rather just use something else. That I know. Bro, this guy's aggressive. I'm just trying to get this Pokemon Trainer without... Encountering any more of these meows or is that meow is scary looking bro. I ain't trying to mess with him He might scratch out my eyes So I'd rather stay Keep my distance from that one All right, Let's just use knockoff Sorry Eevee Well at least this Eevee trainer had an Eevee That's that's what we need to start catching some Eevee so we can get all the evolutions of them I already got a Thunderstone. I could make a right uh, right shoot real quick, actually, but I might save that for the next episode. Ah! I get out of here, my oh, there's something shiny over here. All right, we're going back in the grass real quick. Go, 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 go! 
Ah! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Run, Forest! Run! Um, okay, what's over this way? Is this an... Okay. There is a shark... A sharp beak. We could throw our fishing rod in here, potentially. Let's just throw it in here one time. Because we're about to wrap up... Okay. Let's see who we get. Magic. Alright. That's why your boy Sunny doesn't do too much fishing yet. Especially because we only have a regular uh, fishing rod. But the one that they just give you automatically. So we're gonna skedaddle. We're gonna make our way to this Pokemon Center real quick, actually. Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Oh, up. I think we just ran into Hop. Oh no. Wulu crashed into you and stopped. Oh, this is the gym leader. So we get a nice little dialogue. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. Ah, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. You remember me? My name is Milo. I am a gym leader and rather particular, practical to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on, back to the stadium with you two. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. Uh. <laughs> Alright. So, we got that nice little bit of dialogue cut right there. And I think we're going to go ahead... Oh, yeah. So, there's Hop approaching... So I'm going to end the episode off here, and we're just going to have to pick off on the next one. So just stay tuned, guys. Keep them in suspense. <laughs>